subpoenas. You won't see a page of anything until after the primary. After that, if a document lands and there's no one there to read it, will the mayor and his people honestly give a shit? Other than that, what can I tell you except to get that unit back on the street where it belongs? Lieutenant, you are relieved from command of major crimes. You've done exceptional work. And in light of that, we want you to improve the performance of another vital aspect of our mission. Sir? Telephone reporting unit. You report there tomorrow, 0800. Have I done something wrong? Lieutenant Marimo will be taking over major crimes. If you need to brief him, do so promptly. Yes, sir. Jimmy, how's that beach house coming? Beach, um, fine, sir. Great. Sounds great. An officer Massey present. Working overnight on the wire. Attendance at all office meetings is not mandatory. Inform her. And this Marlowe Stanfield, is this the best we can do? Sir? This is the guy who wasted months chasing with a wiretap? We could be out on the street doing a dozen other different things. Stanfield is a comer. He's got a lot of West Side real estate. How many bodies on him? He fought a war against the bark sales last year and dropped a few, but nothing recent. Nothing recent. He owns West Baltimore, but with no bodies. Oh, maybe it's just me, but in 18 years out there, I have never seen a carnivore eat a carrot. He's been quiet for a time. For a time. This city is up to its hips in blood, and you are sitting on one guy with a history. OK, here's the new world order, guys. I want good quick rips, six, 10, 12 felony cases a month. That means no more long ass wiretaps, no more subpoenas, no more mincing around on shit. We get out on the street, we come back with stats. Barksdale case is closed. When a Stanfield wire comes up for another 30 days, we close down on that as well. Understood? What the hell with this? We got a wiretap up and a judge decides when it comes down. Well, detective. The deputy ops is going to talk to you about that. Where did everybody go? Which one of you is Sergeant Hauk? Sir? And you must be Dozerman. Yes, sir. Welcome to Major Crimes. I'm Lieutenant Marimo. I see you just made sergeant after driving the mayor around for less than three months. You must be a hell of a driver. Anyone here? Greggs, Freeman. Sidnor and Massey, and they're on the street making rips. That's what we do here now. We get on the street and we rip and run. Can you get with that, sergeant? The Western District way, sir. We had this as a stash house? According to the wiretap. How long ago? They move them around, you know. Zeros on the warrants. Minor arrests on the designated corner, sir. They were tipped. You think? For us to come up this empty at all these locations, it has to be. This cocksucker Marlowe thinks he's smarter than us. He is not. Sergeant, I want to know where he hangs. You mean like him personally? He moves around, Lieutenant. He floats. But I have seen him in the concrete park behind Fulton. In a park? If the weather's right, he sits out there on some lawn chairs, holds court. He's got people covering every approach so there's no creeping up on him. My guess is that he likes to talk outdoors so no one can drop a microphone on him. Sergeant, what can we do with that? Yeah, anyway. Sergeant Hauk. Yes, sir? I just got off with Buford at IED. He tells me there's a harassment complaint been filed. Some Jamaican woman says you had her stopped and searched by Amtrak police? Yeah. Well, you see, in my report, we had what we thought was reliable info, that she was a drug courier for Marlowe Stanfield. 
I mean, we actually scoped Stanfield with her. What was the info? The CIA's been reliable. Great track record with us. Long history. CI-238. Give me his name. His name? Sir. Sir. I've never been comfortable with, you know, tossing around names of informants in squad rooms. I feel that it's... Name. Fuzzy Dunlop, sir. I might have to set up a meet with this character. He's kind of leery of meets. He's been reliable, I promise you. I mean, this one baffled the shit out of me, too. But he's never been off. Never. You jumped out on bad information, Sergeant. You brought in another agency, and you brought discredit to this unit. My unit. In good faith, though, sir. Anything comes of this. I have your report, and I will bury you with it. And in case you haven't been paying attention to the election results, your rabbi has left the building. And going over some of my paperwork, it occurs to me I may have been neglectful. Look at all this crap. Every day, more and more of Lester Freeman's bullshit washes up on us. What the fuck you saying? That my paperwork may have been a little sloppy, and as a result, I confuse myself on some things. No shit you were sloppy. I actually went back a couple weeks on your run sheets. Nothing in there references to me with a CI 238. You went through my run sheets. The best I could. Sir, this is. I don't is... care who it is. Turn that fucking thing off. I am starting to believe that this fuzzy fella doesn't exist. I am starting to believe that you just followed Stanfield into the train station and grabbed the first broad he brushed up against. That what happened? No. No, sir. You lie to me now, Sergeant, and I guarantee you I will jam you up, ship this whole mess to IID, and be there to pass out sandwiches at your execution. Yes, sir. You haven't brought me a case yet worth talking about. Not on Marlowe Stanfield, not on anyone. You bring me something other than IID complaints, and I might have some reason to let a few things slide. <laughs> Detective, would you get the door for me? Sometimes life just gives you a moment, huh? He was gonna do me, and instead he gets done. I'm dipped in shit here. I'm the luckiest motherfucker you know. 